Hello everyone, my name is Jimmy Lee and I'm a community channel manager at UiPath and I'm here with Florent, one of the MVPs of our UiPath community. Through an MVP program, we recognize the most active and highly engaged members. Most of them are RPA developers and Florent is one of them. I understand that a lot of people are interested in learning more about the RPA industry because it's growing so fast. Florent is here and he's accomplished quite a bit in this journey. So um, can you briefly just introduce yourself and your background? Sure, so I'm Florence Salan. As you said, I'm uh, uh, working since quite some time in RPA. Quite some time means rather not that long in terms of year, but since RPA is a pretty young technology, two years, two years and a half, let's say, uh, and mainly with UiPath. Uh, I studied law, actually. In 2012, I decided to go to Poland and I did my last year of law there Wow! Uh, and uh, I decided to start working there because I like the country and uh, the, the city and I said okay let's find a job and uh, I got a job, an operational job uh, in a, what we can call a call center mm -hmm. for a big bank and I was basically taking call and doing uh, over and over the same thing you know mm. calling customer, getting information uh, mm. uh, if people have, have made like credit card fraud you know mm -hmm. so uh, then I did this job and you know it's very monotonous like a mundane repetitive yeah and I say okay we say guys we need to do something about it we absolutely need to do something we cannot continue like that not much is happening in that case you know mm -hmm. people say yeah that's a great idea we should focus on improving the process but this is not really happening so what I did I simply uh, learn how to code, uh, learn how to code in VBA, doing some automation there, mm. right? So I, I, I learned how to uh, uh, write some script to make basically my uh, process easier, calling mm. customer faster and basically have more time to do other things. So what happened is that I start learning that pieces by pieces, like as a safe learner, uh, like Googling, uh, Googling things and learning things. And then I automated some things and over and over, I, I gain some time to learn more and then to automate more things. This helped us a lot, actually. After that, uh, I became, uh, I did the same thing, but professionally, as a software engineer automating. After Logically, I did this software engineer job for two years. I was looking for to work on something smaller, so I joined a company which was specialized in RPA, my current company, Symfony. Mm. And this company, uh, basically, basically made me discover UiPath and then I learned RPA and what I can see is that as I told you for like about two three years before I was automating things but here now I'm doing things in few minutes which were taking me hours before mm -hmm. automating many applications and so on mm -hmm. so that's my story now uh, about RPA I started as a business user and then I transited to something a bit more technical oriented process improvement mm -hmm. to automate Wow, what a journey. And this all took what, how many years? From the beginning? Uh, 2012, so let's say like five years now, professional, professional five years. Now you don't need that. Honestly, like mm -hmm. RPA and UiPath would give you, will make you do things that took me three years to learn in probably like one week or two. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's a, one of the strengths and that's what I really liked with the product is that uh, it's very easy to take hand on it. And to and to learn things, and you also have the community forum where you can uh, find help or discuss even topics that uh, mm -hmm. yeah you are interested in and you want to, yeah. to learn more. From your experience, what do you think is the best way to learn RPA? Uh, the best way to learn RPA is to look what is available to you first. Academy, uh, forums, uh, documentation, on, online documentation mm -hmm. uh, like uh, studio.uipath.com or orchestrator.uipath.com okay. Those are mines of information basically. Okay. Uh, as a consultant, <laughs> I'm spending my time like uh, sending hyperlink to that oh, <laughs> like I very see. often. So uh, you have the training, the academy, but I think you need to find for, for yourself like tasks to do. Okay, let's be honest, RPA developer job is, uh, is a developer job. Mm -hmm. Right, it's like like a standard developer job. You need to, you your life will be about solving problems, right? Mm -hmm. And uh, so solving problems continuously uh, is very exciting. Some people really like it, and I, I really recommend it to anyone. It's super rewarding. Mm. But you need also to find a spot to have fun as well by learning, by exploring new ideas. So what I would recommend is that if you want to become an RPA developer, you need to be passionate about it. Mm -hmm. With UiPath, 
is not about uh, just like you learn and you reach some point and then you are cat. You don't. Mm -hmm. You don't have cat. It's like the cap is keeping target. Yeah. Is it's a moving target. This is something you need to follow. So, uh, but it's uh, it's still accessible. And you know what? You don't need to be a hardcore RP developer. Yeah. You can just be an RP developer. And this is super fun job. But guys, uh, like you, sh you you need to have fun because the path is long. One part of um, my RPA exercise is like with the clients. You know, very defined process mm -hmm. processes like uh, governance and so on. And then uh, there is another part where I'm exploring, exploring new ideas, new things. What's your most memorable RPA project that you worked on? Well, I, I worked on, on many projects. It will be difficult for me to pick one specifically. I really liked this, the one which had the, the most impact on okay. people, like something affecting more than 100 people. Wow. Uh, something tangible, you know. Uh, this is one of the rewarding things to see the system automated you know actually at the beginning i was really focused on the system uh, on the system automating the things and now i'm more looking at what i do for people you know mm. like how it impacts people because it's all about that actually rpa is uh, it's about uh, bringing value eliminate errors you want to uh, remove tasks that no, no one would do and so on is about bringing value one way or another three words to describe uipath community open yeah, your app of community is open, involved. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in, involved, challenging. Okay. It's challenging, but in a good way. Okay. Okay. Maybe I'm I'm focusing too much on the forum aspect of the community, but well, that's what bring brought me here actually, mm -hmm. like posting on forums. And I can tell you that this is a crazy place because you find people uh, posting so much. Like I will not say name, but okay, I will say what name. I will say Clayton, for example, which is <laughs> which is writing walls of text, yeah. like like every day at every time. So I don't know how he's doing, and like he's like, passionate. Yeah, passionate, passionate, and involved, and uh, and it's challenging. And I discussed with him uh, when we were in London together, and uh, he told me one thing, which is very true. Like posting on forum is actually like a drug. It's like you do it, and then you just want to solve problem and solve. Like just solve a problem for other people, but when you do it, you have the feeling it's kind of giving you adrenaline. Like you participate mm. and you you feel like you help people, and you want to see their feedback and what they're yeah. saying. Um, uh, replying this, this to is, it. This, this is actually very entertaining. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, I I would say this is challenging as well, but challenging in a good way. One tip you would like to give to someone who's interested in RPA? Just do it. Like just go and try, and if you like, continue and try harder and. The path is long, but it's worth it. It's worth it. Yes, I would totally recommend it. I mean, like I'm actually a very simple guy, you know. Like I, uh, I learned RP as I said, like two years, a bit more than two years ago, and well, now I'm like today in Bangalore. We can say that, yeah, <laughs> that I'm in really? Bangalore today, and it's totally crazy oh. for me. I was in London and mm -hmm. those kind of things. I have camera pointed to me, and uh, I'm very not used to that. <laughs> so, You're doing a very good job. Oh, thank you very much. <laughs> And this is all because of RPA actually. Yeah. So uh, all because of UiPath. So yeah, keep just do it. It's just like do it. like do it. This is uh, accessible. There are like milestones. Even like RPA will not only open your job as only RPA developers. Like posting things on on LinkedIn on social network mm -hmm. about about automating something, doing very small things like to book plane tickets, mm -hmm. to to do those kind of things. So RPA could be covering like your daily job. You know like. Being inside, you could maybe program your own Alexa or mm -hmm. like those kind of things. So, yeah. I mean, that's we are not there yet, but uh, we could take that way, right? Exactly. Well, thank you so much for being here with us and sharing your experience and tips. And if you guys have any questions, please leave a comment below. Um, and you post can... it on the forum as well. Yes, you know, post actually, it on the like. Forum. You have more chance if you post, make a post on the forum that I reply than if you send me an email. <laughs> that's, that's actually what I'm saying to my to my clients. Oh yeah. You know, like if you would post it on the forum, I would maybe reply faster. <laughs> because as I say, I have a time to to work and a time to play, and yeah. I like to keep my time to play. So, <laughs> so please, um, yeah, if you have any questions, or check out our community forum. All the information is down in the description box. Um, thank you again, Florent, and I hope you have a great time in India. Thank you. Thank you. See you soon. See you on the forum. Bye. See ya.